Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Plays Persona 4 Golden. Today, well, I think we're just gonna go upstairs and rest. You should rest early today, get ready to pursue the true culprit starting tomorrow. Yes. Hopefully, I don't know, need anything from last. Say hello, Teddy. What you doing, dog? I was about to say, hopefully I don't need anything from uh, the last save because I accidentally just overrid it. This... It seems like you come to the Velvet Room in your dreams again. But something is different this time. You don't see Igor, Margaret, or Marie. Teddy's sitting here, not noticing your presence. Where am I? This is the Velvet Room. E to the Igor lives here. Sensei? Why are you here? And the better question is, why are you here? This is kind of my room. Uh, I could ask you the same. I see. How mysterious. There are so many things I don't know about. But I did realize something. I've been thinking all this time about who I really am. But I couldn't find the answer. I was no one from the start. Yeah, but you grew into Teddy. The potential, like, world, sex offender. live in this world. From the beginning, that's all there was to it. I was just a shadow in that world. Uh, everyone's worried. How'd you get here? Just a shadow. Uh, everyone's worried. You're always so kind, Sensei. I know. I am the kindest person you will ever meet. I figured something out. Was it math? That day at the hospital... I realized that I really can't do anything. Congratulations, you're human. As soon as I thought that, I lost consciousness. Then when I woke up, I was inside the fog. Shadows can't stay in the human world. They aren't allowed. I walked and walked, but there was nothing all around me. But you've been able to stay just fine in the human world. Just when I started thinking that I couldn't go anywhere, I heard the noise of a car. And then I was here. Was oh, that why we stopped? I remember lots of things now. My world is a place shaped by human thoughts. One day, a shadow living in that world awakened to human emotions. But humans and shadows are completely different entities. Yeah, but you're doing all right. So he made himself forget that he was a shadow. He wanted to forget. I'm not shocked by you being a shadow, by the way. He wanted people to like him. And that's how he came to look like this. I really am stupid. Why a bear outfit? It's like not even just a bear, it's a bear outfit. It is a little, you literally turn yourself into a costume. What the other Teddy said before, in the end, it was all true. No matter how much I search for myself, I have no self. Then stop searching, because you already made yourself a self. There was no me. If that makes any sense. With. I'm just a shadow that took a different form so humans would like me. It would have been better if I had never remembered. But I did. I'll probably turn back to a regular shadow soon. Well, that does seem kind of messed up. Oh, yeah. Sensei. One day, when you meet Nana-chan in heaven... Oh, oh right, she's alive, dog. Tell her, I'm sorry I couldn't do anything. I was actually kind of starting to think that you actually were able to do something, but apparently not. I'm really sorry. Uh, Nanako is alive. You saved her, Teddy? I mean, I don't know if that's true, but Nanako is alive. No, I'm just playing a sick joke on you. She's dead, dog. That would... Like, 
Why do people add, is like say that? Like I don't even get that. It's, it happens. In, it happens in reality, not just movies and video games. Obviously, it's like, anytime something bad happens, it's like you're joking, right? That's just a sick joke, right? Like, dog. Like I have a dark sense of humor, a messed up sense of. Look, I grew up on like Eddie Murphy stand up and Monty Python, so my sense of humor is pretty out there for today's day and age. So yeah, I can. I wouldn't ever do something like that though. Like I can, I can, I can see some like little dark twist here and there. Fine, but I don't get like, oh, someone died, like, and you're telling me and you're breaking my heart. It's a joke, right? No, that's messed up. That's not a joke. That's not funny. Like, I, I don't know why that's like a default. Maybe it's just human instinct to just the hope that it is just a sick joke and not a real. I don't know. It's weird. I'll kind of kind of get off a tangent here, but anyways, you told Teddy about how Nanako came through. Nana Johns. Wow, that's wonderful. I'm so glad. Glad that I could at least hear that. <laughs> My heart feels so much lighter now. I'm starting to feel sleepy. Well, I mean, you just said you had a heart, so, like, it means, do shadows have hearts? I kind of assumed they didn't. What a strange place. It feels so soothing. I, I do like it. The, the seats are velvet. It's not like my world. Something just feels so nostalgic And, about dog, this place. liquor over here, it refills on its own. Could this be your dream world, Sensei? I mean, I guess, kind of? I can come here in my dreams. Uh, I could ask you the same. Uh, I, yeah, I guess something like that. It's not really a dream world because I can come here while I'm awake, but I can enter in my dreams. Uh huh. But I wonder why I met you here. Because I was dreaming of you, Teddy. What am I supposed to do now? I don't know. Let's move on. You can stay here. Let's move on together. But. I don't know what to look for, or how to find it. Again, welcome to being human. No matter how hard I think, there's too many things my little brain can't understand. Uh-huh. Yeah, get used to that. But I do understand one thing now. I'm glad that I met you, Sensei. You can sense Teddy's pure and deep gratitude. Oh, did we max you out? Yes, we did! Ooh, yours transforms now, right? What were you again? Uh, Star! Your Star! We say it was lovers, right, okay. For some reason I had that mixed up earlier. No, I- Margaret too, I think I was mixing up uh, Margaret with Star. So what did you get as a skill? Evade elect, that makes sense. Where am I gonna put that? <laughs> um Ooh, where am I? I can get rid of this. I mean, okay, I'm not really good. I'm probably not gonna use Teddy that much. He's level 63. Not too far off. But I have to get going. No. This is your place. It doesn't seem like somewhere that I'd be allowed. Yeah, to but stay. if it's my place, you're allowed to stay. Goodbye, Sensei. Hi, guys. Before you know it, Teddy's gone. Igor, Margaret, and Marie are sitting there once again. Hmm. It seems the words in your memory weren't the only things you summoned here. This is a room for guests who have an ego that can be nurtured. Are you throwing shade at me? Shadows, mere fragments broken off from the ego, have no place here. Oh. The water's strength has moved a single stone that had stopped. Returning it once again into the flow. Oh, okay. Mm, very interesting. 
You're a creepy dude, you know that? Igor has a meaningful smile on his face. Well now, it's about time we departed once again. Sure? This vehicle is still on its journey. There is no reason to tarry here for long. Margaret? We're ready to go. Let us depart. Cool, can I get my sailor uniform on? Can I get my Sailor Moon uniform on? That's a different question. <laughs> ah, you are every inch the guest I had anticipated. Every inch. You're goddamn right. Now, it's time for you to return. <laughs> I am even more intrigued now as to where this is all headed. We'll be waiting for your next visit. Okay, I'll, I'll probably come back tomorrow. See if there's any more poems from Marie. Those are actually quite good. I hope she keeps writing them. Well, assuming I can come back tomorrow, I'm hoping I'm allowed to actually just... I'm assuming I might not be able to actually go upgrade my equipment, but uh, we'll see. How did it go? Did you find Teddy? What's with the pictures of penguins? Or a penguin and I think like a baby penguin or a something. I think it's a penguin. No. That's no supposed to be like a either. show? Oh, that annoying little fur ball. Just when we're at a turning point in the case, too. We have no choice. Let's pursue Adachi. That's alright, he's not part of the active party anyways. Yeah, but like I would like to leave. And you know, Whoa. we're not going to be able to leave, are we? This fog is. It's gotten even worse than before. What the There's this malicious aura everywhere. It feels completely different from the last time I was here. I think we'd better hurry. Give me a sec to try finding Adachi. Does this mean both this world and ours are getting messed up? I mean, have you seen the fog outside? Our glasses work on the fog on the other side. It can't be normal. Exactly. And I heard more people are falling ill because of the fog. They're just hypochondriacs. I wonder what's going to happen. I the... sense him. Adachi's definitely in here. That does make sense, right? Because, like... When we're in here... The first time we were in here, we were physically exhausted, and we took us getting some used to it. Not too much use, obviously. It's a video game, so they're not gonna... They could have done that, I guess you can say, where they, they give you, like, a little meter how long you can stay in a, the world. That would have sucked. That would have been awful, I feel like. Uh, but it does make sense that, like, people outside would probably start feeling ill, or at least exhausted due to the fog being there, if it has the same effect that it did in here. Being said, though, do you think people are going to start spawning their shadows? Right? Maybe? I'm not exactly sure how that works. I know when they're in here, eventually their shadow will come out and start provoking them or antagonizing them or something. And eventually will flip its lid and kill them um, on foggy days. I'm not really sure why. Oh, wait, no. It's it because... Actually, why? Did they, they explain that, and I'm having trouble remaining, uh, remembering that. Like, it gets less in... The fog gets less over here, and that drives the shadows... Insane? In the membrane? Maybe? Not insane, but like, uh... They aggro. They get aggravated or something. Are you serious? Which way? Hold on. So he did come to this side. Well, that settles it. There's virtually no doubt remaining that he's the true culprit. Yeah? Once we capture him, solving the mystery of this world and the rest of the case can't be far behind. Pretty sure we'll never solve the mystery of this world. Then, maybe we'll find out where Teddy came from, too. That would be convenient. Man, where is that bear anyway? Well, I can say for sure he's not here. 
And I know Adachi is here, but I can't track him down myself. Gee, Ted, why aren't you here when we need you most? Okay. Hey, Teddy, how's it's it going, dog? Place. Uh, I see. I came back. Yeah, congratulations. But it really doesn't matter. I'm completely useless. I mean, you keep saying that. I'm not exactly sure why you keep saying that. Nana-chan, I'm so sorry. Teddy? It is you, Teddy. I heard... Your voice. You said... Hang in there. And then I died. And then I came back. I heard... My big bro... And... Everyone else, too. You should probably stop talking. It seems like it's painful. <laughs> Nana-chan! Oh, hold on! I'll get the doctor! It seems she's asleep again. Um, Nana-chan told me that she heard my voice. She heard me say, hang in there. It could be that her frankly miraculous recovery was because everyone's voices reached her. Is that your scientific opinion, Doc? Even unconscious, people are capable of hearing others' voices. Yeah, she wasn't exactly just unconscious. I mean, her heart and her lungs function stopped. My voice... And theirs, too. Everyone. In any case, there are too many things we don't understand about her condition and what caused it. I mean, that's, that's by very, you know, that's true. We're doing our best, but it's difficult when everything about her illness is a total unknown. Unknown. Well, if anything happens, please send for me. If I'm an unknown being, then the way I can change is unknown too. So all I have to do is make them not unknown. Nana-chan's doing her best. Sensei and the others are probably fighting now too. Now we're actually just standing at the entrance of the place, really confused and not knowing what we can do. I... I'm just a shadow. But Nana-chan cheered up when she heard my voice. So what if I'm just a shadow? There must be something I can do. I can't just give up thinking about things. Also, you're a shadow with your own persona, which is very unique. Well, you know what? Never mind. That's why I came back here. Right, Nana-chan? Teddy's strong will that allowed him to accept and overcome his weakness has awakened his heart's true power. Oh. My God. Teddy. No. Teddy. Just no. Why'd you shove the rockets up its butt? I mean, I'm not gonna kink shame, but dog. That's really weird looking. Uh, Kintoki Doji has transfigured into Kamui? Kamui? Whatever the hell that thing is? Right. I need to get back to the others. Alright. Hang in there, Nana chan. I'll be back soon. It's no use. I can only tell that Adachi is here, not his exact location. Rizuchan! If only Teddy was with us. Didn't he say his nose is practically useless now? And could he even help us find that bastard? <laughs> nope. He'd be no help at all. Then why <laughs> then why are we then why do we want him here? But he was always there to support me whenever. 
That bear's a loud mouth, but he's nice to have around. He's always so full of energy. He's lighthearted and always optimistic. Is everyone going to take a turn saying something nice about Teddy? I'm all right. I just got a little dizzy. The fog's so dense, it's hard to see through it. Why don't we call it a day? It won't do us any good if you collapse. Good lord. <laughs> we didn't do anything today. I agree. If Rise-san became fatigued, even if we found a dachi, our capacity in battle would That's be That's true. And she heals us, both SP and HP now in between battles. Moreover, a little bit. It's almost nighttime. We should return to our world for the present. And it'd be super dope if you give me like, I don't know, two, three weeks maybe to max her out. Because I feel like she might be a lot better maxed out. She got like two ranks left. And she doesn't like hanging out all the time. Just give me, just give me a few days game to max her out and get her last abilities and buffs. And I will be happy. We came so far to run smack into a dead I feel like you're not gonna let me do that though. I know he's in there too. What's wrong with me? My powers are completely useless. I mean your powers are pretty awesome. Teddy? You little where the hell were you? Uh, I'm sorry. You idiot! Bad bear! <laughs> You're so late! Who do you think you are? <laughs> you cry a lot, Rise. Um, <laughs> oh my done? god. Are you faking? No, stupid! S sorry I want to help you all again. You know how much trouble you caused, you dumb bear? Where the hell were you? I'm sorry. I figured out a lot of things. Stuff about me and that world. I wanted to tell you all. So you listen to Teddy's confession since he finally understands who he really is. That he was only a shadow and that... Though he was at his wit's end, he was able to come back to our world, or your world. A shadow? You mean you're one of those things we've been fighting? Yup. Just like the ones you all know about. Shadows are suppressed human thoughts given form. Everyone has them inside. Wait. You say you're a shadow, but you didn't attack us. And you kept telling us from the start that you wanted to bring peace and quiet back to that world, right? But in the end, I was just an ordinary shadow. Nothing special about me at all. Again, you say that, nothing special about you, but if you were an ordinary shadow that all of a sudden had awareness and feelings and human, you know, empathy and stuff like that, and you adjusted your lifestyle to be changed into who you are now, doesn't seem like you're just a nothing, like there's nothing special about you. I did everything I could Not until all the other shadows can't do that. world peaceful. But instead, the weird fog started seeping out into this world, too. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. If I really was special, then maybe... Why does your fur look more blue here than everywhere else? It's no big deal. I mean, we weren't expecting much from you in the first place. <laughs> I mean, it's true. And about you being a shadow, we pretty much figured you were something like that anyway. Huh? Uh, what are you saying? Here I am pouring my heart out to you, and you say you thought I was something like that anyways? <laughs> no normal person would think such a pretty bear could really be a shadow. Uh, pretty. So what's the problem with being a shadow? Well, aside from them constantly attacking us. I guess nothing. It's true that you may have been born that way. It's, it's one of those things like... If the shadows didn't attack us, there would be nothing wrong with being a shadow. But every shadow we've met, aside from a few, um, give or take one or two, there might be more in the other games, uh, they seem like just mindless, angry things that attack. 
Yeah, no, mostly. Yeah, mostly. But you now possess the power of Persona. A shadow is suppressed power. Once controlled by the ego, it becomes a Persona. Doesn't it follow then that you must have developed an ego? Whether the Clearly, ego have you met him? Shadow, or the shadow awakens to its ego. The only difference I see is the order in which the process occurred. Oh, Teddy's practically human then. That's what I'm saying. I, I'm the same as humans? You keep trying to figure out who you are, just like all of us here. You can't do much on your own. You really aren't that special. See? What's so different between you and us? The bear suit? A gigantic tears? Like, I don't even know how you have tear ducts in that thing. What a roar. I mean, yeah, because you would just be a shadow in the other world. The rest of us were pretty much a group of misfits to begin with, too, Speak right? Speak for yourself. And actually, yeah, wait, what? No. The only misfits here are, like, you and Kanji. Yuko is a successful manager of an inn. Chie is a high school student. Risei is an ex-idol. Naoto is an underage detective prince. Uh, princess. And I'm Hiro, the ladies' man. You fit right in, man. Okay, so Hiro, Kanji, and Yosuke. I beg your pardon? Who are you calling a miss? That look on her face is fantastic. Isn't that just you, Senpai? Hey, that's not something a detective would say. Or an idol, either. What? Yes, it is. And Kanji wasn't even that bad, actually, right? He only beat up biker gang people. He wasn't actually a biker gang person himself. Gee, stop crying, will ya? Now's not the time for that. While you were gone, we figured out who murdered the announcer and Senpai. It was Adachi. Huh? <laughs> That's a good reaction, actually, to be quite honest. Adachi? That total goofball? Whoa! I didn't notice at all. Looks like I'm pretty blind to that sort of thing. Hmm. But you all know him. If you can't find someone like that... I don't think I can help you. Like I said, we're not expecting much from you. Well, the main thing is, it's hard to get pumped about this without someone nice and fuzzy around. Kinky, I guess. Yeah, what Kanji said. Why are you pouting? <laughs> uh, okay. Thanks, guys. All right. Now that the band's back together. Literally, we were a band once. Top starting tomorrow it's been a while but i'll do my best to look for him too leave it to fuzzy you take another step towards the truth hmm, i feel like we're gonna max this out pretty quickly only Rise would hang out with us more often and i didn't waste like a week looking for like investigative stuff or the fishing or all the other times I didn't mess up during the day. Since you'll have, uh, start fresh again tomorrow, each of you decided to go home today. I did. I did waste a decent amount of time. Giants of P Part Two is up there. What the hell are you talking about? Yeah, there was a few times where I messed up some uh, time management stuff. I guess it just goes with it. I could have reloaded back when I spent like four or five days looking for... Who was that for? Was that for Rise or... Oh no, it was for the serial... The kid. The, the kid that looks like a serial killer. He wasn't actually a serial killer. Because I had to talk to like Dojima, right? And I couldn't find him for like a day. And I ran by him like twice. And then, I, yeah, because I kept waiting to talk to him in the evening. It was like three or four days. Yeah, that was bad on my part. I could have finished off someone else in that time. Actually, no, I couldn't have because we were investigating and wouldn't let me hang out with anyone. But I could have finished the investigation in like a day, probably. and Or two days. And then finished the dungeon and then hung out with everyone. 
Anyways, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like below. If you're not subscribed yet, want to hit my video section, check out some of the content and see if it's to your liking. If you're interested in watching me live stream, head on to twitch.tv slash chronosplays. Give my channel a follow to be notified when I go live. Either way, thank you for watching. I hope you all have a great day.